Hi, this is Rebecca Payo, and that's Rebecca the Realtor with Keller Williams Golfside Realty. And today I'm with one of my preferred vendors, Justin Kelly with Van Dyke Mortgage. And he's going to tell us a little bit more about the 3% conventional that just started rolling out with their program. So Justin, tell us a little bit about the 3% program. Thanks, Rebecca. So conventional just came out with a 3% down program where one of the buyers that goes on the mortgage must be at least a first time home buyer, which means you have not owned a home in the last three years. Now the benefits out of conventional is you can do 3% down, which is a bare minimum these days. Um, and then the mortgage insurance, since we're going conventional, you can actually get it removed once you pay in the 22% equity. So the way you compare it is to FHA. FHA is three and a half percent down, so it's a half percent more. And then also the mortgage insurance right now on FHA must stay on for the life of the loan. So no matter what, you're gonna keep it for the full 30 years on the mortgage while you're paying. And if you switch back to conventional, you can get it removed eventually. So those are usually the two big kickers. Wow, so when you're talking about mortgage insurance, how much are we talking about a month that's added on to the mortgage, whether it be FHA or the 3% conventional? Um, it's all based on the loan amount. So for uh, conventional with 3% down, um, let's say the loan amount's $100, you're probably looking somewhere between um, you know, 90 to 125, and it is dependent upon their credit score. Okay. Um, and then FHA is probably about 85 to $90. So more or less, it's still comparable. Um, but you could look back at if you were to keep this mortgage for 30 years, you know, where are you going to pay more, conventional or FHA? Well, you're going to pay more FHA because it stays on for the life. And you can still get how much towards closing costs with the 3% conventional, as in like with the FHA, we know we can get ask up to 6% towards closing costs. Conventional, um, with 3% down, you can ask up to 3% in seller concessions. FHA does allow up to 6 Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So the only other question that I know that I have people asking me all the time, with a, a FHA or a 3% conventional, can we do down payment assistance money? Yes, you can. You can do um, down payment assistance with both conventional and FHA, um, and I think it works the same, but you look at it with the same basics of mortgage insurance and what, you're, what you want to do for the future. Do you want to keep it for the full 30 years? Um, you know, there might be reasons why you have to go FHA as a buyer versus conventional. You know, was there a bankruptcy, a foreclosure? You know, was there something dramatic in the past of the, of the credit history of the buyer? Um, but they work the same. You can do three to five percent down conventional and still use down payment assistance, or you can do FHA and do the down payment assistance as well. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, if people want to get a hold of you and have any other you know questions, or they want to get pre-qualified for a loan, mm -hmm. how can they get a hold of you? Um, you can always call my office at seven two seven two one six nine two two three, or you can always email me at j kelly, which is j k e l l y at vandykemortgage.com, which is V-A-N-D-Y-K mortgage.com. No E on Van Dyke. <laughs> and so if you have any questions also in regards to buying a home, selling a home, or investing in real estate here in the Tampa Bay area, you can always give me, Rebecca the Realtor, a call at 727-216-9253 or email me at Realtor at live.com. Thanks so much and make it a great day in Tampa Bay.